Hi, it's Mary Beth, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beat directly in Pro Tools with Pro Tools stock plugins. I'm currently using 12.5. I had to upgrade when I downloaded um, the El Capitan OS on my Mac. So that's the version of Pro Tools I'm currently using. I have an inbox third gen that I'm using with a MIDI keyboard. Um, so that's about it. There's not much that you really need other than those items to create a beat directly in Pro Tools. And as you can see up here, my kind of go-to plugin is Expand 2. There are so many options that you have with that plugin. I've been using it for almost a year and still am finding new things that I can do with that. You can play pretty much any instrument that you want with that plugin. So first I want to play the beat for you and let you hear what it sounds like. So that's a little bit of what my beat sounds like. I'm just going to break down and go through kind of how I built it. Now, it's important for you to remember, as a producer, you are an artist in your own right. So when you go to make your beats, the way that you make them is not going to be exactly like anybody else makes them. When I watch the top producers in the country to get inspiration or to get tools from them, of course, they give me ideas and they give me things that I can put into my own work, but I still know that whatever I make is going to be me and what you make is going to be you too. So just feel free when you go through and are making. I was watching Mike Will Made It make a beat the other day and he starts with his drums. Me, when I started making beats, I start with my samples. I was a pianist first. And so it's natural for me to just go through and make the sample sometimes. Uh, like right here, I have a mallet organ that I used as my bass, and that's what I started with on this beat. So I'll let you hear what that sounds like by itself. So that's what that was my bass that I used to build the beat. And when I added the other tracks, I listened for what sounded good with that based on how I wanted the track to feel. When you're making your beats, make sure that you're, everything is working together cohesively based on the feel that you want to get. Me with this one, I wanted it to be kind of a darker tone, but I still wanted it to come out smoothly, like maybe a little Drake or Janae Aiko. So I got these chords from, I started out with this melody over here, and this is my intro. So I just used this synth. So I have this synth here with the melody, and then I got these chords for the organ based off of that. And once I had those for a little bit fuller sound, and of course you have to add your bass, I added this bass line, and I'll let you hear what the bass sounds like. Alright, so that kind of went with the organ sound that I have here, and this bass was a little bit plunky, and so I went in, and you can select and then go to your MIDI editor window. There's a shortcut for this, but I don't know on my Mac, so with the 
bass, the first note was sounding kind of plunky, so I went down here to my velocity and just turned the first note all the way down, so you can't really hear that plunky sound at the beginning. And then I went and slip and overlap the notes just a tiny bit so that it sounds smooth going through. So that's my bass. And then once I had all of that working together, I over here you'll notice I have this track labeled tape, and that's because this transition kind of functions as the tape between this melody and the chords. So I'll let you hear this by itself, and this is a soft lead that I used. So by itself, it's just really soft and kind of plain, but it functions as a really good transition between this melody and the chords. All right, and I got this idea. Actually, I have to credit the producer of the year, Metro Boomin. I listened to some of his tracks and I got this idea from him, so thank you, Young Metro, for that. And then over here, when I started the hi-hats, I couldn't really decide. I use them on the eighth notes. A lot of times you'll use them on sixteenth notes in hip-hop and R&B, but this song just seemed kind of too fast and cluttered on the sixteenth, so I use eighths. <laughs> And then when I chopped them right here, I know a lot of times you'll chop them on the one for like a harder feel, but since I wanted this song to sound softer, I put them on the three so that the chop kind of trails off with them. And then with the snare, I wanted it to be more of an accent, like in the song Love by Tory Lanez. If you listen to the two and the four in that song, it just sounds like a water drop. It's more of an accent than an actual hard snare. And so I used, I found this sound, which is pretty good. So it's kind of a different sound. It's not like your traditional open snare or just a click. It's kind of something a little different than I wanted on the two and the four because I also added this tom pattern. And this is something that I just kind of came up with. So I used a deep tom on this and then I went and added in the kick up here and I just did the traditional one and three on that so that it wouldn't be too cluttered. So that's probably, that's the most that it builds up and then over here I just drop some things out one at a time so that it could go into the hook. basically the whole thing. It has some repeats. I used the bass melody again for the little transition between the second verse and the second hook, and I used my markers up here to keep up with everything. I hope you enjoyed this, and good luck on making your beats. Send me some of your work your way so I can enjoy your art also.